So guys, this is another thing that uh, is happening in the world a lot, and it's been happening. It's been happening since a long time, but today with the tools we have, it's become a lot easier for things like this to happen and for manipulation to take place. And that is why so many people in the world view women as, you know, borderline evil. And I'm not going to go that far to say that, but I do think there's a lot of bad in this world. And um, you guys just have to be careful because if you guys get deceived, it is a part of your problem. It is a part of your fault because you let it go there, bro. You probably saw some red flags and uh, you let it happen. And I'm just thinking back as well, like it's happened to me before. And at the time it stings and you kind of place a lot of the blame on the female that you've dealt with. But in actuality, sometimes men have to just go through that to understand it and to understand that it's almost inevitable. There's no man that's gonna make it out of this world unscathed. You can, you can get your happily ever after with your wife, but um, beforehand, were you unscathed? Probably not. It's, um, it can be a cruel world out there, bro with a lot of cruel people and women can do some cruel things. And if you let them go that far, that's when it becomes a part of your fault because you let her get over on you. You put thoughts in your own head about how you thought things were going to go. You let her words lead you as a man. You let her words dictate your feelings and how you felt instead of you being an actual man and dictating your own feelings and your own life even if she says whatever she says okay but you still feel the same you're not caught up into the <laughs> into the words she said and you just like fall into it like bro if you guys are making those mistakes that is your fault that is your fault. A lot of men that are getting deceived today, it is their own fault. So it's up to you to wake up and realize that you're a man and that stuff should not be happening. You can prevent it from happening. You can prevent it from getting so led down that road of where they're trying to lead you Instead, you're in your own frame, in your own mind, in your own thoughts. Whatever she says, that's cool, but you're still you. You still feel the feelings that you feel. And you don't get led astray. Because if you listen to every word a woman says and you take it so figuratively, like, head on. If she says, oh, we're going to get married, and you just think 100% we're going to get married because she said it, that's your fault. And I'm not saying if a woman ever says we're going to get married that it's false because it can happen. But you guys have to understand, even though they say it, even though they sell you a dream, even though they say we're going to get married, we're going to have kids, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. How many women have done that to you guys and it didn't happen? That's all I'm trying to say right now. How many women have said that shit to you guys and it's never happened? I'm waiting. Comment section, go for it. Everybody, let everybody know what happened in the comment section in, in your situations. Go ahead. And you guys will see amongst each other what she's went through. <laughs> and like I said, it doesn't mean they're lying all the time. But they have before. And they can do it again and again and again and again and again. So it's up to you guys as men to understand that their words, you cannot take them the way that you might. You, you can't just believe every word they're saying. Like, you can listen, things can sound nice, but should you just believe them and just trust them 
and you don't even barely know them, should you do it? Should you do it? No. No. Not automatically. I'm not saying, oh, they're lying. I'm not saying just be against them. Just know, time is going to tell. So if you're with her, time is going to tell if that is going to happen. And if it happens, great. If it doesn't, you were on guard. You understood as a man, they might just be saying that. Or they might even believe it, but it, but it might not even happen because they changed their mind. That's what makes us, as men, different from women. Because if we say those things, we're going to mean it. That's the mistake men make. They think women think like us. If she said it, it must be true. Because if I said it, it would be not the truth. Because if we did say words like that, as time kept going on, and we had that feeling like this is going to be a forever person, we're going to get married, we're going to have kids, da 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 then we would damn well mean it. So you guys have to have to really understand this. Women's words are only words. It does not mean it's actually going to happen. Not saying it won't, not saying it will. Just know, this is what it is. So if you guys are allowing yourselves to get deceived like that, you might have to go through a few of those situations to really wake up and smell the roses and understand, you know, this is the way life works. And if you're willing to sit there and have a woman try to lead the life she wants with you and you don't have no say and it's all what she does and what she wants and da da da, you're gonna be in over your head. You're gonna be in over your head and you're gonna wake up wondering what the just happened. I'll tell you what happened. You, my friend, have got deceived. What is this thing flying around my camera? It's that big ass mosquito or something. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Um, <laughs> men have to be smarter, bro. Men have to be smarter. And it's going to change a lot of things. If men were better in this world, it would change a lot of things. And you know why it would? It would leave women no choice but to follow more. Follow more. Women can say all they want. We don't need a man. We don't do this. We don't need that. They're always involved with men. Women are always involved with men, bro. Even women that are single... They're, they're involved with many men. They're being taken care of by many men. They're getting their needs met for many men. What the f are you talking about? Those types of women are not good enough for a single relationship because they cannot bring enough value to the table. They cannot bring a man what he needs, what he wants. It's, a, it's not an equal value exchange. It's like 99 to 1%. That's why it won't work. Because she's a liability. What do liabilities do? They use other people because they are a liability. They're going to extract value, extract value, extract value from many different men because they can't bring value to a man. Point blank period. But it's funny because they say they don't need a man, but <laughs> they are the ones that need men the most. It's always the women saying they don't need a man that need a man the most all the time. So it's a bunch of don't, don't listen, bro. <laughs> you guys got it all mixed up, man. You just can't believe anything nowadays. You just can't believe anything nowadays of what you're hearing out of their mouths. You, you literally can't. And it's up to you if you go ahead out there, wherever you are, and you believe in what you're hearing from them because I guarantee you it is false. 
It's deception on top of deception on top of deception. Even when you don't think it is, it, it seemingly is. Because they ain't us, bro. They don't do what we do. They don't think the way we think. They don't. So, if you guys could just, you know, be better, have a better understanding of things, not allow yourself to get deceived because you're too smart. That's what you have to do. You have to get smarter. You have to get tougher. You have to have thicker skin. You have to be willing to walk away from a woman who ain't for you. That's when you're going to see more women showing up, acting right, doing what they have to do on their end to even get a chance with you, to even be around you. Because women today, from the devices they have, from the technology that's here, from all the apps. They are the queens of deception. They're getting their knees mad here, 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 and here, and here. Everywhere. Queens of deception. So... You guys have to see it through and be and outsmart this modern stupid world. Because it is stupid. You just have to outsmart it. You just have to be outside of the matrix and outsmart everything inside of the matrix. That's what I've done. It's very possible to get yourself a great woman who is of your standard, of your caliber. You just have to be smart enough. You have to be able to set boundaries, set the tone, set the standard. You guys have to know what you're doing. And if you know what you're doing as a man, I can promise you guys, you will have your way. And if you don't know what you're doing as a man, I promise you right now, you're going to get mollywopped out there. You're going to get mollywopped. And you're just going to be dipping and dodging <laughs> after all the shit that's just went on. Because you're going to get deceived by maybe a couple women. And after that, you'll just be dipping and dodging, bro. You'll see one and you'll just be dipping. You won't want nothing to do with it because you're damn near PTSD petrified from, from them all. To see what, what they're capable of. <laughs> but even then, you get deceived. I've been deceived before. I've been deceived before. Every young man has fell into some sort of trap and they didn't know what just happened. They didn't know what just hit them. Until you just, you know, you gotta go through those times. You gotta get back up on your two feet and you gotta work hard. And over time you start to put the pieces of the puzzle together and you start to learn what actually just happened, what actually just went down. And, uh, It's not a fun time to go through, but you're gonna have to go through it as a man. You'd be very lucky if you've never had to go through it because I don't know a single man alive who hasn't. I, I really don't actually. I believe my aunt and uncle that are now married for over 50 years, I don't think they have because I think they were there first and I think they're their last, so yeah. I, there's obviously people that didn't have to experience those things, but today, <laughs> that was back in the olden days, all right? Phones weren't even a thing. Today, I don't know anybody. Every friend I know, every person I know has gotten deceived, has gotten backbitten, the backbiters, the Jezebel spirits. The culvert narcs. <clears throat> the fucking demons, bro. It's funny as well how many people call me up with their real life situations and hearing all the different stories. Probably at least a thousand by now. And it's... It's eye-opening stuff, man. It's eye-opening stuff. 
there's a lot of crazy and wicked things going on in this world. Thank, thanks for the great parenting today. Thanks for the great parenting today because they've absolutely been failed. There's so few families who actually succeed in raising their children the way they're supposed to. So, so very few. And that is a goal of myself. It's not even a question of a debate. It will happen. Raising a family right, it will happen, hands down. Why? Because we know what we're doing. Over here, we know what we're doing. We know what needs to be done. It's not about being lazy and wanting kids just for your own fun and entertainment. It's about knowing what you're doing. That's what it's about. It is about having fun with your, with your own kids and your family, but it's also about discipline. It's also about doing what is right. Teaching them right from wrong. Learning about your own children. Understanding their own strengths and weaknesses. Understanding what to put them in, what not to put them in. How to help them, how to guide them, how to show them, how to teach them. The list goes on. How many parents are doing a good job of this today, guys? Not too freaking many. Not too many. And that's why so many kids grow up to be that way. So many women grow up, bro, to be that way. Because they never had their needs met. What do they do? A lot of them, so many of them, grow up to be very cunning, manipulative, deceptive, so they can get their way because their needs were not met. It makes sense. So as men, you guys have to understand this. You guys have to understand this fully so you can save your damn self from a lot of pain. Women underestimate how much pain they actually put so many men through. Those women were in pain. They're going to put you through pain. They're going to take you down to hell with them, bro. That's what they're going to do. They're in hell. They act like they're not, but they are. They're going to take you right down there with them. Do you want to go there? That's why you have to stand your ground as a man. You don't let them make you do things. You don't let them persuade you in ways that you shouldn't. You don't let them put belief systems in your own mind because you know what the fuck is going on in this world. Your, your head ain't going to be in the clouds in some fucking mystical fairy tale of a land. You understand what life really is. You understand what reality really is. You're too solid for all that fucking fairy tale shit. That's what it has to be. And I'm not even saying the fairy tale can't come true. I'm not even saying the white picket fence and the wife and the kids and the, the happy life can't come true. Because again, just be careful, bro. Just be careful. Because there's a lot of deception out there today. And you guys better know what, you're, what you got yourself into. That's the main thing. You have to know what, what you have yourself into. But yeah, man, I did a recent call with a fella and it made me think to do this video topic. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes I do calls and certain things get discussed and certain things get said. And it's like, damn, I, I just explained all that. I, I got to make a video out of it now so I can save a lot of people from what this guy went through. So yeah, it's a up world, man. And there's a lot of this stuff going on and Nobody can deny it because it clearly happens. It clearly happens. Is this a lie? Is this my opinion? No, it's not. This shit happens, bro, in the world. For real. Time and time and time again. Does this make me bad for exposing it? No. I'm the good guy. I'm exposing the truth. And the evil, insidious people in this world, they don't want y'all to hear it. They are the ones that hate on me. They are the ones that go against me. They are the ones that don't like what I have to say. Because we speak the truth. We save good people from these fucking bad people. They just want to keep running rampant, deceiving, conning, being manipulative, doing all the stuff they're doing so they can get their way. But as long as you guys are here, not happening to y'all. If you listen to me... <laughs> 
If you listen to me and you, and you still fall for stuff, then that is your own stupidity, bro. Like I said, a lot of men that do get deceived, it is their own fault because they don't know no better. So sometimes you have to get hit hard enough to wake up to realize that you have to know better. But anyways, guys, that's the video for this evening. We'll be back with the next. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 100K. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. We'll see y'all at the top.